My name is Yvonne Sampson and I live in New Plymouth, New Zealand. I grew up in New Plymouth, born and bred New Plymouth. I'm 73 years of age now and I have been making dolls for almost 28 years. My mum, Gladys Berry, a beautiful lady with lovely blue eyes and a father with beautiful blue eyes, tall, beautiful man. Um, I lived with, had a wonderful childhood, ran fairly free, have two brothers, two lovely brothers, and we grew up uh, post-war, and um, we didn't get much out in those days, but I really wanted to always doodle with um, a pencil or a pen or a crayon or anything I had. I used to do um, cake decorating and that led me into china painting and china painting was because I had to have a day to myself. My mother had had a stroke, my dad had died a long time before that and mum had had a stroke and it was so severe I had to put her in a rest home and I went every day and my younger brother went every day to see her. One of the girls, or one or two of the girls at Polytech said they were going to make a porcelain doll, or two porcelain dolls in a weekend, and I couldn't afford money or time. I had teenagers and a mother who was ill, so I decided I'll put that on the back burner. And um, my mother had had a porcelain doll, which her sister had broken for her in a fit of rage, her younger sister. So I always thought, oh, that would be a nice thing for mum to have, one that I've actually made. So when this lady was started making them, I thought I'll do that. And the second doll I made, I thought, I'm going to do this forever. I actually said it, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. And I am doing it, and I made beautiful dolls I don't think it will die out, and I don't think ever dolls will go out of fashion. Um, doll making is one of the biggest collector's items in the world, other than stamps and a few other things, but it is still a big um, collector's item, and dolls go for big prices still. <laughs> Je peux vivre
I'll get one out to show you. Oops, she's a bit funny looking now, isn't she? Let me throw the bush. 